Now, the good news is that there are some things that we can do for this. Um, there are medications currently available that can make a difference, that maintain people in a better state and, and give them a better quality of life for you know, a number of years. Um, they're what we call symptomatic treatments, and there are, are three or four medications available for different stages of the disease that are currently marketed and I think are helping people to, to cope better and families to manage better with the patients. However, we would like to get to a point where we would have disease-modifying therapies where you could actually prevent onset of disease, um, delay it or uh, stop it in its tracks. I think getting to a cure is going to you know, be uh, uh, many, many years ahead, but to get to a point where we could actually really slow down the disease itself would be hugely important for society and for the individuals affected. In fact, people have calculated that if you can delay the onset of Alzheimer's disease, for example, that would reduce um, its prevalence, its frequency in the population because people will you know, die from other things, uh, cancer and heart attack and so forth. So the goal is to try and prevent the onset of the disease and that actually is something that we have some control over because it turns out that vascular risk factors are a very important um, contributing cause to Alzheimer's disease as well as to stroke-related dementia. So if people are actually looking after themselves in terms of the vascular risk factors, they have diabetes, it's under control, they're exercising, their blood pressure is under control. Um, you can see how complicated this disease becomes because it really involves almost all of medicine. Um, then if people do that, um, they can reduce the chances that they will develop the disease or at least put off when they're going to develop the disease. Uh, and so um, exercise programs, heart healthy lifestyle choices uh, is actually really important and is part of the prevention plan, I think, uh, for disease in a societal sense. Uh, we really have to get people moving, exercising, um, and uh, making lifestyle choices that are healthy in order to um, deal with a whole bunch of major diseases in our society. Smoking, uh, another example. And most people don't think of preventing Alzheimer's disease as something they're doing when they're exercising or when they're taking their blood pressure medication, but actually that is helping the cause um, in their own lives as well as in the lives of the people who they would depend on.